What's up everybody? Welcome back to another class in the Intro to Plants course. Today we are in one of my favorite places in the universe. We're in the kitchen. My intention behind this video is to make cooking vegan food or vegetarian food super easy, not scary, quick, and taste awesome so you can enjoy your shift and so you can make it a sustainable one to last and so you can share it with your friends on how easy this is and not scary whatsoever and some of your favorite dishes might actually come out of something today so the way that we're going to be cooking today is kind of the quick easy way uh, I'm not really one to like hand form like veggie burgers myself not yet this is not what that video is about this is going to be quick easy intro to cooking uh, so today we have a couple things we have Tofu, two different kinds. I'm going to show you how to cook it. We're going to go over two different ways to make this. We're going to saute it and we're going to stick it in the air fryer. And if you don't have an air fryer, uh, everything that I mentioned in this video, there will be an Amazon link in the description or in the coursework. So just click on that and you'll see everything that I mentioned from the spices to the appliances that I use. So we're going to be cooking tofu today. We're also going to be cooking tempeh. Don't be scared. It's okay. It tastes awesome. We're going to be air frying and baking this. Uh, another thing that we're going to make is veggie burgers. I'm going to show you two quick easy ways to make veggie burgers. And this does come out of a package so we're not hand forming anything. Um, and then just some easy things to put in with your tofu. This is like vegan sausage or chorizo. And this is also smoky tempeh which tastes just like bacon. But not real bacon. We're bacon bacon. Okay? <laughs> And then I'm just going to touch on a couple other cool little options, um, like the meatless meatballs. These are really easy. You just saute them. That is it. A couple minutes till they're not frozen anymore. Um, meatless chicken tenders. These are amazing. You can bake these or just stick them right in the air fryer. I mention the air fryer a lot because it is one of my favorite appliances. I cook everything. I actually have used my air fryer. So if you don't have an air fryer, I totally recommend getting it. Uh, and then there's also meatless meatballs. These I... I actually microwave them halfway and then stick them in the air fryer or saute them for the rest of the way. So those are just some quick, easy things that you can get at the store just for a quick meal. Um, but the majority of my personal diet comes from tofu and tempeh. Tofu and tempeh. <laughs> uh, okay guys, so let's get cooking. I forgot to mention beans. <laughs> so I'll be honest with you guys. I am a vegan who doesn't really like beans. I'm learning, it's, it's an acquired taste, but garbanzos are beans that I can totally deal with and I can get on board with. I'm, I'm a little apprehensive about black beans or kidney beans. I know they're really good for you and they can probably just cook up the same way that we're going to cook these today, um, but I am slowly working my, working my way into the world of beans. And we're going to start with garbanzos. You can also throw those in the air fryer uh, and you can also saute them on the stove like I'm going to do today. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get these puppies cooking. No, not puppies, we're vegan. Let's get these beans cooking. <laughs> uh, so just to give you a little preface on the way that we're gonna be cooking today, I'm gonna cook these things individually. So I'm gonna cook the tofu individually, and then I already have like potatoes and quinoa cooked. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to cook these all individually, and then show you how you can put them together to make a nice, awesome meal like tofu scramble spaghetti meatballs um barbecue tempeh so there's a ton of different options that will come out of this video so i just want to let you know before we get started and if you want to cook with me i encourage you to right now get out your supplies there will be a um a grocery list so you can get exactly what i got at the grocery store and you can kind of do a little cooking class with me so the first one that we're going to start with is tofu we're going to cook it two separate ways we're going to saute it up in the pan and then the other way is we're gonna just going to throw it right in the air fryer so first things first get your pack of tofu out and this one i just so happen to grab the double one but if you got the the regular square that's fine and then there's also the high protein tofu so i'm going to be cooking both of these today they both cook a little bit differently since this one is a little more firm um it sometimes when you put it in the air fryer it gets like really chewy i personally like it that way but not everybody does so i'm also going to stick this in the pan with this one so get your tofu cut it open and drain out the water and if you want you can squish it to get the water out sometimes I do sometimes I don't you really don't have to if you don't want to it just takes a little bit longer when you're cooking for all the water to evaporate so feel free to squish it or not okay guys first stop is the air fryer super simple super easy appliance to use um, so you, this is like your basket you basically just take it out and here it is and we're gonna do tofu so this is you can cut this up into cubes if you're feeling it but like I just do that 
So now that it's in there crumbled up, I'm just gonna use a little bit of salt and pepper. The main spices that I personally use is pink salt, got the big boy, black pepper, uh, nutritional yeast flakes, which give, gives things like a little bit of a cheesy flavor. And that's pretty much it. Everything bagel seasoning, I also use quite a bit. And like some salt-free garlic, garlic and herb. That's it, nothing crazy. And this is how I stir. And then you just put it in. And so I set the dial all the way to 400 degrees, which is the highest this particular air fryer goes. And I put it at about 15 minutes. It's probably gonna take closer to 25 minutes just because it is uh, like wet. So it has to like evaporate all the water and then get crispy. So this should probably take about 25 minutes. But while this, this is cooking, I'm gonna take the other half of the high protein tofu and the regular extra firm tofu, and I'm just gonna throw these right in the pan. The same way that I crumbled up the stuff in the air fryer, I'm just gonna put it in the pan. I'm just gonna mush it with my hands and then stir it up. Now we're gonna put it in the pan. I already have some coconut oil in here that has is very hot, because I took a little bit too long. So it's very hot, so when I put this in here, it's gonna sizzle everywhere, but this gives the tofu uh, like a little bit of a browning, uh, like good crunchy taste when you keep it in there for a while. So I'm just gonna, like I said, just crumble it up, throw it in there in a minute. Dangerous. Okay, now the other one, this one's a little easier. So then I take my spatula and I scramble this up. And guys, what does this look like? It looks like eggs, the beginning of scrambled eggs, which is exactly how you can use this. So this is a perfect base for a tofu scramble. So once you scramble this up, feel free to put some vegan sausage in there, the fake and bacon, some pepper, some onions, make it into a nice, awesome dish. And I also have potatoes over there, so what I would usually do is either do half brown potatoes, french fries if you're super desperate, or you could just put in those little baby potatoes and just mix it all in and boom, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? So I'm gonna turn this up to about like a six on the scale. I want this to get really hot because I want all the water to evaporate first. So just like the air fryer, how it takes a little bit longer because this does come as a wet product, uh, it is going to take a little bit longer to saute and get that brown crispy goodness. Uh, but along the way, what I'll be doing is just season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And at the end, we're going to put some sweet chili sauce on it. But for now, we just got to wait for this to get crispy brown. Some pepper. Salt. All right, guys, next up is beans, garbanzo beans. <laughs> So you could also cook these from scratch, just like from the dried bean. I am not that good at cooking beans like that and I don't have an Instapot. I have heard if you have an Instapot, it's actually super easy and super quick to cook beans that way. But for now, I just get the no salt, no salt added garbanzo beans. And after the oil is heated up, I basically just do this. And then I do this. And I saute it just the same exact way as I'm gonna do my tofu. I turn it up a little high and I kind of just wait for it to get brown and crispy and just like that one I'm going to season it, season it with salt and pepper so as it's cooking and then at the end I'll probably put a little bit of sauce on it. Easy peasy guys. Alright everybody next up is tempeh. So there are two ways that we're going to cook this today. The first way we're going to cook it is in the oven because I know not everybody has an air fryer so I'm going to be sensitive to that and show you another way that you can do it in the oven. It's the same thing as the air fryer comes out the same kind of crispy way. You just will have to take it out and maybe flip it halfway through. So this is how the tempeh comes um, and this is how I get it out of the pack. So I just cut it down the middle, boom, and then it's kind of in two bags. So I pinch here and then I shimmy it out, tempeh, <laughs> and then I pinch and shimmy it out. And while we're here, I just wanna stop and take note of something. Okay, so there are about two servings per container and each serving has 20 grams of protein. So this has 20 grams of protein and this has 20 grams of protein. Super awesome, all right? And this is how I always cut it up. So I just come long ways with a nice, you know, sharp knife. I cut them into, you know, pretty thin slices because I like things a little crispy. If you don't like things as crispy, maybe cut them a little thicker and then I cut them that way. And then when I put them in, I really just kind of break them up and just do it just like that. And I do the same exact process for the air fryer 
And if I were to saute the tempeh, I would probably cut it up exactly the same way. Um, long ways and then down the middle so you make, so you get short little slivers like this. And then again, guys, I'm just going with the salt and pepper seasoning, just kind of toasting it. And a little trick, like when you make these crispy and you put them with a little bit of salt and pepper, they taste like French fries or like some kind of crispy awesomeness. So this is an awesome way to get like a little protein. Sometimes I just eat them after they've been cooked, just as a little snack. So here's the base, super quick and easy. And I'm just gonna pop this right in the oven. And the oven is set at 450, uh, so we'll just see about how long that takes. Okay, so let's talk about tempeh for a second. Like, what is this shit? <laughs> uh, basically, there's just a couple ingredients and you'll be able to see it when you pull it out of your package and start looking. But the main ingredient is soybeans. And don't worry. And if you're worried about soy, pay attention to the vegetation video that we're gonna do in this course because uh, it'll dispel all of your soy myths. So, there's soybeans and it's held together by brown rice, organic barley, organic millet, and lactic acid from plant sources. And that is all that's in tempeh. So what you're seeing when you look at this block is beans and grain. That's it, super organic. And so you get the 20 grams of protein from the beans and you get 16 carbs from brown rice, barley, and millet. All right, everybody, so we are about 10 minutes into cooking tofu and I had it turned out pretty high, so this is where we're at so far. So as you can see, things are getting brown and crispy. And for some people, this might be enough right here. So when you add your onions and peppers and your vegan sausage or bacon, this might be just perfect for you. I personally like it a little more burnt and crispy, so I'm gonna keep on cooking it. So we're about 10 minutes in, we're getting a very nice color there. And over here, we're about five minutes in, the water is starting to evaporate and our air fryer just went off. So let's check and see where we are 15 minutes into, what do we cook? Tofu. All right, so here we are. So things are getting a little crispy. I I'm liking what I'm seeing. We probably only need another seven minutes or so. So I don't know if you guys can see this. It turns into almost like popcorn tofu. So once you get them all nice and crispy-like, it's a great opportunity to cook them in like a little bit of sauce or like whatever you want. But anyway, we're gonna go for probably another five minutes. All right, everybody, now it is sausage time. So what you didn't see was, as this was cooking, I just added a little bit more coconut oil and some salt and pepper just to get it to that extra nice little crispiness that I like. So now what I'm gonna do is add some sweet chili sauce, and I don't add a ton. I literally just drizzle it to get the flavor, and this also helps it crisp up a little more. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing to the garbanzo beans, because this is one of my favorite sauces. Um, and there's all different brands of sweet chili sauce, so just have at it. You can also do the same thing with barbecue sauce, teriyaki, soyaki, really whatever sauce you find. And then I just mix it up just like this, get everything nice and coated, oh my yum. And if you've never tried sweet chili sauce on anything, it is phenomenal. Like, it tastes like candy. And I use sweet chili sauce because it's a really great addition when I make a fruit salad to have sort of a sweeter sauce with it because then it doesn't like clash with the flavors. Um, and then same thing with these guys. I'm just gonna move them around, make sure everything's all nice and coated. The garbanzos need a little bit more time for my liking. And this, I'm probably gonna let it simmer in this sauce for maybe three to five minutes and then those are completely done. And I heard our timer for the air fryer tofu go off, so let's check that out too. Okay, here we are, 20 minutes later, two different kinds of tofu, and this is kind of what you get. And see how it's all coated and nice and crispy? So you can take these pieces, put them in like a Tupperware or glass bowl or something, and then just toss them in a sauce. Ian's favorite is barbecue sauce, so it's almost like barbecue boneless buffalo wings, except no bone ever, <laughs> just tofu. So this is kind of how the air fried tofu comes out. A little crunchy, a little awesome, little, little, little. All right, now it is time to put the tempeh in the air fryer. This is my all-time favorite way to cook tempeh. May, might be one of my all-time favorite meals. So just like you saw me put it in for the baking, cut it up, slice it up, move it apart, and just put it in the, put it in the air fryer. And this takes a lot less time than the tofu because it doesn't come wet. So this is probably gonna take, I don't know, maybe 12 minutes. So I'm gonna pop this in and wait till you see it when it's done. Now we're talking. There's my little burnt crispies that I love so much. So I'll probably <laughs> just let this go for a little longer. And let's come over here and check on these lovely garbanzo beans. These are also getting that little crispy that I like. 
Well, the saute tofu is finished. This is pretty much how I like it, how I love it actually. So this to me is done. And remember, we put two different kinds of tofu in here. One was high protein, one was the regular extra firm that you get at this store, and a little bit of sweet chili sauce, and bada bing, guys. Okay, meatless meat crumbles. These are amazing. They are made out of water, pea protein isolate, and some other kind of oils and spices. But basically that's what's in here, guys. Water and pea protein isolate. 12 grams of protein per serving. There's about five servings per bag. That's a ton of protein. So what I do with this, you can see how it comes. I just put it right in the pan. And it's only a matter of time before it's thawed and ready to go. Something that I add with this often is the soy chorizo. Oh, um, is the soy chorizo. So this one is what we got from Trader Joe's the other day. This is made mostly with textured vegetable protein, a little bit of oil, sea salt, white vinegar, paprika, and some some spices basically. And so this, when you cut it, it comes like this. When you cut it, you kind of have to squeeze it out of the package like a sausage, and then it kind of crumbles into into pieces. So. I'm just gonna add this with that and it's gonna make like kind of like a soy chorizo meatless meat crumble mixture that you can put in tacos or just with some rice or kind of just whatever you wanna do with it. But this is two high protein ways to get some meatless meat going. So I cut it in half uh, and then I just sliced it down the middle and this is like the easiest way to get it out. And then boom, it's out. And then from here, kind of the same thing we did with the tofu, just kind of mix it up and scramble it around you good to go. So the garbanzos are done. I coated them with a little bit more sweet chili sauce just so I can get a really nice flavor on there. And for me, that is good to go. We're done with those. All right, so here's a little update on our tempeh. It's very hot in the oven. Uh, so you'll see that they're starting to turn crispy, kind of brown. For some people, this is totally perfect. These could be done just the way they are. Um, for me, I like to cook them just a little bit more because I kind of like things crispy. So. I'm just gonna let those go for probably another 10 minutes or so and then those puppies are done as well. Did you see how easy that was guys? Cut it up, put it in the pan and let it do its thing. Next up on our list is veggie burgers. So there are a ton of different options to get for veggie burgers. I encourage you to have a blast in the store. Look at all of the different kinds. You could even make your own. And there are a bunch of different ways that you can actually make veggie burgers. So you can bake them. You can throw them in the air fryer. That's probably the simplest way. Um, but today I'm just gonna throw them in the pan just to show you how easy they are to make. So they come in a little box, open up the box, and then I just like pop them out of here, and then bada bing, bada boom. Cook, guys. <laughs> and since it's meat, you don't have to wait till it's like at a specific temperature, like you're not gonna get salmonella. So that is another awesome point. So I'm just gonna let those kind of do their thing. Tempeh, tempeh, who's got the tempeh? All right, this tempeh, tempeh, this tempeh looks like it's done. Perfect, just the way I like it. And I heard another bingo go off. Here's our air fry tempeh. So you can see how similar they come out. So the air fryer is like a, a quick, like an easy bake. <laughs> so this is my tempeh. And from here, it's a great opportunity to put this in the pan and coat it with barbecue sauce or put it in a Tupperware, throw some sauce in there and shake it all around. One of our favorite ways to make tempeh. We are almost finished. So our chorizo and meatless meat crumble um, pan <laughs> is almost cooked to perfection. So as you can see, we're like, everything's kind of perfectly like crispy and brown. It's all mixed together. So that one I would say is finished. Uh, our, our veggie burgers are right there. Nice crispy patties. Yep. And that one, so the, the veggie burgers, when you make them in the pan, I would say seven to 10 minutes each side. No big deal, super easy. If you pop them in the air fryer, it's probably gonna take about 12 minutes. So the same, either way you wanna do it. Uh, and now that this is done, so like I said before, this is gonna be great for like anything that you would, like tacos, you could use like chips and salsa with this. You could do really anything with this little base right here. Woo, that was a lot of cooking in a short amount of time. I hope that my intention was conveyed clearly how easy and simple all of this cooking can be. I hope that you saw that when we made tofu, it's really not as scary as you think it is and the water that it comes in is really not scary at all. In fact, it comes out nice and clean versus like whatever your chicken sense it, like whatever fluid, 
So <laughs> I just want to show you guys how easy tofu is, how not scary, and how awesome you can make it to taste. Um, we went over some meatless meat crumbles and some chorizo. We went over beans, chickpeas, and we also went over tempeh. And look at how these come out, these little crunchy bits. So good. Um, and another thing that I did not put in this video, but I do want to mention, is how to combine all of these to make meals. So what you're seeing right here is a big, awesome base for meal prep. I mean, you could probably make 10, maybe even 12 meals out of all of this. And over on this side, I have quinoa, brown rice, and potatoes. Um, so just an example, what you could do with tofu is a tofu scramble. And what you would do is combine tofu with potatoes, cut these up into little like breakfast pieces. And then I, I'm a fan of frozen veggies. And this is just a great easy way to throw these in the pan and saute them up and then add them to your tofu scramble. So your tofu scramble could include um, peppers and onions, tofu, potatoes, and then you can take your pick or both of tempeh bacon, fake and bacon, or um, like sausage, breakfast sausage. Two super awesome ways to make tofu scramble. Uh, another thing I wanna mention is tempeh. So what you could do to dress up tempeh is essentially put this in a pan and coat it with barbecue sauce and then just put it on top of some quinoa or some brown rice. And quinoa, if you guys don't know, is full packed of nutrients and protein. So all of this stuff is like a super, super high protein meal. And I also just want to give you um, a little tip for making quinoa. I discovered this the other day. So I like these mixed vegetables. It comes with carrots, peas, and corn. And I mix it with the tempeh. So I want to show you guys uh, a quick little tip about quinoa. So this is my favorite way to make it lately. I put frozen veggies, this has carrots, peas, and corn, in with the quinoa. And then I add salt, pepper, coconut oil, and nutritional yeast. Okay, this is jam-packed full of amino acids and awesome nutrients, and it sort of has like an awesome cheesy flavor. So I love this on any kind of like rice or quinoa or even noodles, it's really good for as well. So that's kind of my little secret for quinoa. <coughs> and then from the quinoa, then you can put any of these or maybe a mix of all of these in your dish. I don't know if I have anything else for you guys. I feel like I might have covered it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in one of our calls that we do or email me or DM me. I would love to help you make this a super easy, sustainable, enjoyable, quick, lovely shift. Have fun in the kitchen, guys. Get creative, discover, explore, go for it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another class in the Intro to Plants course. Today we are in the kitchen. One of my favorite places in the universe is in the kitchen to be making food taste awesome and tasty. So my intention behind this video is to make tofu and tempeh and vegan food a lot less scary. Guys, it's not that hard to cook this and make it taste awesome and it tastes really, really good. Whenever you... Oh, Don't down. go lay down. Don't even start. Go lay down. Go. He's over here now. <laughs> go lay down. We're doing we're doing stuff. Doing vegan stuff. Okay, go lay down. Alright, go lay down. Woohoo. Woohoo. 